Oops, it's your girl came with the hype 411. Romish recording artist Versatile has decided to defend his friend Popcorn in his latest single titled Just Do That. As I told you in an episode of 411 some weeks ago, DeMarco made statements to say that Popcorn was stealing his style. Soon after the comment was made, Popcorn decided to respond to DeMarco lyrically. And now Versatile states that DeMarco has made comments about him copying the single I Love My Life. And because of that, Versatile has decided to answer to DeMarco's comments lyrically as well. Versatile explained to the media that he and Popcorn are close friends. And although the Gaza Prefect has decided to no longer respond to DeMarco, Versatile says he is definitely going to defend it. He says that he is lyrically ready to shake off any challenge that DeMarco may present and that so far he has been getting good feedback from fans and online viewers. Versatile not only decided to publicly state that he is ready for the lyrical battle, but also invited DeMarco, mentioning to him that he should definitely defend himself. When DeMarco was contacted about the matter, he says that he is unaware of the issue between himself and Versatile and was even unsure as to who Versatile was. An unhappy promoter has publicly stated that he wants his $90,000 deposit back from select and artist Tony Mataran. The man explained that he had contacted Mataran last December to do a show in St. Mary and they decided on a price and that the money was sent via Western Union. The promoter explains that after speaking to Mataran, he made the agreements to book him, Swatch International and Jamrock Sound for the April 7th event. He says that he later got a message from Mataran that he was double booked for the date. When Mataran was contacted, he explained to the promoter that since the date cannot be changed, he would return the deposit in a matter of two days. Now, four months later, the money has still not yet been returned. The promoter insists that Mataran has breached the contract and says that he has been getting quite the runaround from the entertainer and would now have to come to Jamaica to sort out the matter. The promoter says that he will be suing Mataran and that the money owed is not for him but to be given to persons in need. When Mataran's booking agent was contacted, they were unaware of the situation and that currently he is off the island with some shows in the UK. Meanwhile, Mataran took to his Twitter pages to tell his fans his side of the story with his usual use of strong words. In our final story, rising reggae roots dancehall artist Kabaka Pyramid recently left the island for his Ready for the Road Tour 2012 in Europe. The 13-show stint runs until May 26th and will take him to places including Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, the Netherlands and France. His performances so far have been energetic as he completes 40-minute sets to the audiences that so far have been full houses. At a recent performance in Germany, Kabaka was joined by German artist coordinator and they performed their recent released single, Final Move, and the crowd thoroughly enjoyed the set from start to finish. Okay, hype peeps, I'm your girl Kim and that's the hype for 101.